everyone talking about Coney Island by Bond Number 9. The notes in this are margarita mix, melon, guava, cinnamon, chocolate, caramel, musk, vanilla, cedar, and sandalwood. This has a lot going on, as you might guess from that notes list, but not in a bad way. It's interesting and kind of like elusive. The opening smells like lime or lemon tonic water to me, but in like a really crisp and fresh way. And it actually kind of stays that way for a while before those later notes start to creep in. The gourmand notes are super well incorporated here. It doesn't, this doesn't smell like, you know, a cheap walking chocolate vanilla bomb or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with those. I like the smell of those, but that's, this is more like, you know, kind of subtle and refined in terms of the gourmand aspects than that. Those notes just add some kind of depth and sweetness to it. And yeah, ultimately I find it nice, but as I usually feel about most Bond number nine, just not worth the price. This to me smells more like it would be a designer fragrance, like, you know, in the $100 price range and not the prices that Bond Number 9 sells for. Uh, but you can get a 100 milliliter for like $230 on discount fragrance sites. So that's still very expensive, obviously, but compared to the list price of Bond Number 9, not that bad. Um, unisex with moderate to good longevity and projection, and I'll link in the description where you can check it out.